So guys, it's taken a little while to get it back together. Uh, most importantly, I needed the time off to grow my beard, um, just because baristas, obviously, the bigger the beard, the more you know about coffee. So I'm working on it just for you guys. First up, a little bit about me. So uh, I've been working in the coffee industry for about five years now. I uh, started off in a chain, uh, Dome, which is a West Australian coffee chain. And they uh, taught me the basics, and basically I got uh, really interested in the, in the product of coffee. Uh, I wanted to learn as much as I could about it. So I left that and then worked for a little cafe, uh, more cafe, in Bustleton, Western Australia. Um, and I really enjoyed that, again, learning more, uh, learning a lot about uh, the hospitality industry and um, you know, working in a cafe environment. From there, I moved up to the city, and uh, since then I've been working at a place called Jahaba Coffee Works. Uh, I work as a roaster now, so I'm roasting the coffee, but I also like to learn as much as I can about coffee. Um, so, basically what I want to do, change it up a little bit now guys, um, whatever you want to know about coffee, leave it as a question and I'll try and answer it for you. Mrs. Chesbro on Instagram asks, how do you pour a peacock? Now, peacock isn't uh, one of my best patterns, but I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you the basics. Okay, so here we have everything we need. So we've got textured milk, uh, espresso shot, and in here I've just poured off some of the top of the milk. Now when you're doing some etching, it might be good to get some frothy milk on the side. Um, just so you can draw in anything white that you need. A little tip I learned from the comps. So when you're pouring this one, you want to pour a, basically a tulip base, but you want to pour it into the handle so that um, your pattern comes out the right way. And then your last one is just like a little bowl um, and a bit of a face on there. Here we go. So first of all, just draw in the uh, feet. And then just pitch out feathers. And there you go, there's your peacock. Of course, as always, we have our Free Paul Friday winners. Um, let's have a look at the finalists and let's have a look who ended up coming out on top. As always, the standard for Free Paul Friday is getting higher and higher, but this week's winner was number three, which was poured by Jason Smith. If you think you can take him down, uh, make sure you enter Free Paul Friday next week. Thanks a lot. Remember, if you like this episode, you can join the Coffee Fusion community by liking Coffee Fusion on Facebook, following The Coffee Fusion on Instagram, or subscribing to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee lovers together. Mrs. Chesbro on Instagram writes, uh, how do you pour the, how do you pour the peacock? How do you pour the peacock? Now, it's not one of my best pa patterns to pour. Best pattern to pour. It's not one of my best patterns to pour.